Hey guys, welcome to my beginner tips for Wheatcraft Inc. Now I know it's a bit of a controversial game for a lot of people and companies of course also, but I chose to look past that and I find myself actually enjoying it a lot. Now at the heart it's like a really well made simulator but it has a bit of a learning curve to it, so for that reason I wanted to share with you my tips and tricks for the game. Now I divided the video into 5 parts, which are gonna be clients, growing, employees, relationships and miscellaneous. And yeah, let's go over it. And guys, if you like this content, please consider subscribing to help me out a lot. Now let's get immediately into the first part, clients. During the very start of the game, you should just sell your product to whoever will buy it, just to complete the mission you're at. But once your mission is done, you should really investigate the multiple social groups in your city. And when doing this, pay specific attention to not only their favorite strains, but also to their price thresholds. The best way to make money is not by selling it as low as possible to whoever will buy it to get more money by selling quantity, but identify rather the social groups that will have the higher thresholds and find the building they reside at and sell them at a strain they like as close to the price threshold as possible. Try also to prioritize the buildings that have a multiplication sign next to the social group. This means you will have two or three times the number of buyers from that specific social group. Sell preferably a cannabis strain that other social groups in the same building will also like. And don't forget that you can attract additional groups to your building by choosing specific front businesses. Find the perfect strain for a specific social group or one that caters to multiple social groups will become easier when you unlock the breeding of cannabis strains. Then you can create a strain by combining their preferred flavors and effects. But if you have a social group with a lot of cash, in the same building as a group with a very low pr price threshold, increase the price so you'll only sell your stock at the highest price possible, so only to the richer social group. In order to satisfy the demand of the clients and beat your competition, focus on the quality of your strains. Figure out what the right temperature, humidity and MPK values are by changing the sliders and watering the plants. You should see the score change each time you water the plants. Once you unlock the research, you can spend it on figuring out what the perfect conditions are for each strain by the click of a button. But guys, really quick side note, don't try looking for the perfect conditions for each strain on the internet because they are randomized for each game. Now focus on growing one specific strain per building because they will always share the same temperature and humidity. You can also change the growing times and quality of your plants by changing its soil, and so be sure to check that out. With the equipment, you need to keep four things in mind. The yield is how many grams of cannabis you'll harvest, the, t the temperature and the humidity will tie into the quality of your plants, and last but not least, police vigilance, how much attention you'll attract from the police. I would just advise to check every piece of equipment as you unlock it while playing, because there are some really great ones in there. I would personally focus on the increasing your yield as you will want more product to sell. It's not because you have a lot of potted plants that you'll have the best yield. By choosing the la right lamps you may increase your yield exponentially, but also the better the lamps the more temperature increase and the police vigilance you'll get. I suggest checking the talent just there you can find the industrial air conditioner, purifier and humidifier. These will be a major help. Now employees are a very big help, but they're also a very big cost. But I wouldn't mind that too much because they're really really worth it. Now ordinarily you will have enough with 3 employees for each city, but it's important to focus on which role you will want for them to play. Ideally there are only 2 roles, being a grower and a seller. If you're only selling your wheat illegally, you may need a third role, which will be to occupy the front businesses. Now, if your first grower has five tasks, be sure to, sh to hire a second one and place him in the same growing houses. There is no penalty for a travel time between tasks, so be sure to stack your growers. Each time your employees gain an experience point, be sure to keep their role in mind and develop them further into that role. For each point deeper into growing or selling, they'll become faster at it and perform their tasks a lot quicker. As they improve, they will also ask for races. At the start you will think that they're costing way too much, but if you optimize your selling prices and growing operations, it should never really be a problem. 
Try to be friends with everyone, even your competitors, police and more. Just be friends with everyone. It may be a hassle for you, but it has a lot of benefits. The more they like you, the more they'll leave you alone. Your competition won't try to strong arm you and even share their strains with you if you ask them nicely enough. A friendship with the police may let them turn a blind eye to your operations and even seize the equipment of your competitors when asked. And your employees will be more motivated and perform tasks better and they will also want to do you certain favors like stealing strains or sabotaging the competition when you ask. And you can ask all of these that I just mentioned for a new favor every month. Now I'm glad to say that you can actually befriend someone during your first conversation by doing the following. First, use the option to chat, let's chat, three times consecutively. After that, then use the second option, tell me about whatever kind of information they like and keep, just keep doing this as long as they're giving information. And when they have finally become friendly with you, just only use the third option, tell me something about yourself. I would do this about three times before going back to the second option, tell me about something as long as they're giving the information. By using this order you will get friendly in no time. Now, before moving to the next city, make sure your old one is as lucrative as it can be with your current equipment available. You share your capital between the cities, so it's a good idea to have one working as well as it can before starting the next one, since you will need some starting capital to start your new venture. Don't be afraid to take out a loan to rent a new building, that little boost of capital can really help with setting up your next money maker. Just don't take one if you're unsure you'll be able to cover the monthly cost even with the new building. Now earlier I mentioned that you should stay friends with everyone, but my only exceptions are actually the politicians. Once you unlock the ability to create laws in the advanced scenario, you will need to be able to sway the 5 politicians in your favor to let your bill pass. Now, bribing will give you maybe their vote, you will never be sure to be honest if you actually have their vote, but if you blackmail them, you will be sure. So if you have the capital for it, hire a new employee and let him gather information on all 5 politicians for each city. Check if there is anything suspicious going on between the information that you have gained. The dirt you can find can be very diverse, going from sexual perversions to being responsible for taxpayers dying. I assure you that at least two of the five politicians will have dirt on them. Find it and you may have enough of the politicians in your pocket to let any bill you want pass. You have the option to also smuggle cannabis between your, the different cities. Now, I personally wouldn't use it, it may get you in trouble and normally you should be able to produce enough in the city to satisfy the demand. The only exception to this rule would be to fulfill certain orders. If you don't want any hassle from the police, consider spending money on medical or recreational licenses. You may need to pay taxes on your legal incomes, but you won't need to bother with front businesses or purifiers anymore. That way you'll have more the room for expanding your growing rooms and increasing your profit in the meantime. Be sure to complete orders to advance in your talent tree and be sure to check your talent tree whenever another level unlocks. There are talents that can increase your yield or the growing times that are quite a major help. Okay, so those were my tips for Wheatcraft Inc. Let me know down in the comments below if your, these tips manage to help you out or if you want to share your tips, please do. Um, if you like this content, please consider subscribing. It would be very much appreciated. I am enjoying this game quite a lot actually, so um, let me know how you guys are experiencing it also in the comments down below. I'm really curious. But guys, thanks for watching and see ya!